Hi, I'm Bill Jarvie from Fishing Game and today we're going to go over a few tips and techniques for lake trolling. Here's a pretty standard six foot soft tip trolling rod. You can get it from any sports store, fishing store. It's a soft tip so that when you do have a fish on, when it strikes, you actually see that you have. Far better than the older stick like rods that wouldn't be so responsive. With reels, you get what you pay for. This one here is a good quality level wind reel. Here's the release for the drum, it'll let you freewheel your line out when you're, when you're actually setting your line. The drag here, which will dictate just how much pull is on your line before your reel releases it. Quite important to have that right when you, once you do have a fish on. But when you're trolling, reasonably tight just so that the, the line isn't dr uh, dragged out all the time on you. The line itself, over the backing, 100 metres of lead core line, so that's a, a higher density um, line which will take your, your lure down to the depths that you want. Approximately two metres deeper for every 10 metres that you put this uh, line out, so each colour is 10 metres long. Add another colour of uh, line out and you should drop your line, your lure two metres. But remember, it's still a good option to use the good old monofilament when targeting feeding trout in shallow water. Here we've got three examples of trolling lures commonly used in New Zealand. The first, a realistic imitation of a small fish, which will swim and look like a, a young trout perhaps. This one here, which has an erratic action and will elicit a predatory response from trout looking for a wounded fish. And here, with a similar action, but the workhorse of New Zealand fishing, the black and gold toby. One of the more important things you've got to consider when you're going out trolling is the actual time of the day. You really do want to be out there when the trout are looking to feed and that'll be when the forage fish like bullies etc are active. So first and last light of the day is when you're going to have most chance of success. The most productive part of the lake is the shallow littoral. It's that area that goes out from the beach and goes to that deeper drop off. It's those areas there where the bullies, the forage fish that the trout are looking for, that's where they lurk. So if you get your trolling lure in at that point, either the deeper littoral or right on the drop off, that's when you're going to have the most success. Thinking about just how fast you should troll, one of the better things you can do is just have a look at your lure just on the edge of the, over the edge of your boat. Just see that the actions does look right for what you want to, it to be doing down there too fast and it might be all over the place and too fast for a fish to take too. So generally start off as slow as you like, as long as that lure's got a, the action that you want. We've got a big brownie here on the surface line and we just, again, this is where fish are lost so just bring it in and quietly slip the net underneath them. There we go, look at that. go and we're thinking we'll keep this fish so we're going to deal with them as quickly as possible. Stunning brownie. Okay, dispatch them as quickly as possible. So there are a few tips which will hopefully help make you more successful next time you're lake trolling.